A feature film that has been in the making for seven years is being shared across the country. Called The Klebona Keepers, a film about the elders who stopped one of the largest oil companies to protect their sacred headwaters. A few people came up and said, hey, look, our elders are trying to stop a coal mine in the headwaters of Eskina, uh, way out in the Klebona in this mountain that's called Klepan. We know you guys have cameras and wondering if you could come for a day or two. Well, that day or two turned into seven and a half weeks being up in the Klopan, having our minds absolutely blown by this group of elders and their families um, that have been fighting for that area for long before we came here. Filmmaker Tamo Campos says it was a pleasure to work with the elders and the community on this film. I think that time was so important because it allowed for folks to really share what are the stories that are important that need to be in this film, who are all the folks involved, and also to really craft it in a way that I think um, really uplifted and, and tells the story of all the different families and communities that fought for the sacred headwaters. For the Wednesday screening, a goal the filmmakers and community had in mind was to showcase the film to the youth and for them to share their thoughts after the viewing. How do you embody that when you're actually structuring these screenings? And for us, that meant making this a really kid-friendly screening, having a popcorn machine, having Polaroid camera, and just like, it was just... You know how the halls can get pretty hectic with the loud sound of kids, but I couldn't imagine a better sound and for that screening because it was so important that the kids see it and just the words they shared after were beautiful. Chief Marie Kwok of the Iskit Band Council was emotional when speaking about the message of the documentary and what it meant to the families in the Iskit community. I found the film very moving um, and it brought back a lot of memories of uh, the fight for Klopan, a lot of um, good memories, uh, thought a lot about the, the tensions and it was just everything. And um, it's great like this, I would totally recommend this film. Um, we're not against development, but we just wanna see it done right. And that there are areas that are gonna be there for our uh, future generation. 14 community members will travel to Toronto to screen the film at the opening night of the Human Rights Watch Film Festival on May 26. For CFTK TV News, I'm Hannah Schmidt in Terrace.